Okay, chapter six. It's pretty short. It's titled, Sharing a Secret. At school the next day, Noah could barely function. At lunchtime, he took a seat at the end of a long table in the cafeteria and waited for his friends. He slouched over his tray and picked through his food as if he expected to find something buried in it. Around him, kids behaved in their normal fashion, laughing, hollering, and launching corn with their plastic spoon catapults. A girl plopped down on the bench in front of him. She landed so hard that she shook the tater tot off Becky Preby's spork at the far end of the bench. The girl was Ella Jones, Noah's lifelong friend and fellow action scout. Just one second. Okay, Noah looked up from his meal and stared at her blankly. What's up, she asked as she crunched down on an apple spraying droplets of juice for which she saw no need to apologize. When Noah didn't respond, she added, Cat got your tongue? Because she was talking through a mouthful of food, her question sounded like, Cat got a dog? As if she were speaking some foreign language. Noah said coldly, Nice manners. Shouldn't you be eating off the floor? Ella chuckled, Ha! Through another mouthful of food, she said something else that Noah couldn't understand. It sounded remarkably like, I have a toad in my shoe. Hey guys, behind him, Noah heard the voice of the third action scout. Richie Reynolds approached the table wearing his favorite shirt, a green one with shiny silver snaps. His pockets contained a stash of pens, a pencil, two highlighters, a short ruler, and a pen light. Ella called his stuff Richie's nerd gear. Richie stretched his leg over the bench to take a seat. For a second, light reflected off the metallic material in his running shoe, causing colored flecks of light to crawl across Noah's arm. Richie's running shoes were so flashy and bright and glittery that they were obnoxious. Noah could spot them from the end of a crowded school hall. Richie wore these shoes everywhere, to school, to baseball practice, even to church. When his skinny rear end hit the bench, his oversized eyeglasses shook and became crooked. Richie pushed his glasses up on his nose, looked at his food, rubbed his hands together and said, hmm, I can't wait to dig into this. He prodded through his lunch with a plastic spork. This. This is... What is this stuff? Chicken? I'm afraid to guess, Ella said. She peeled a banana and added, Something's wrong with Noah today. Nothing's wrong, Noah said, but even he could hear how cold and flat his voice sounded. Doesn't sound like nothing's wrong, Richie replied. I didn't sleep well. Why not? Noah stared into the ugly mound of food on his tray and avoided the question. Richie continued to dig through his lunch, trying to determine what category of meat was on the tray. Looks like something's been rocking Noah's ark, Richie said. Maybe the animals have been keeping him awake. Just one more second. Richie pushed his glasses up on his nose, looked at his food, rubbed his hands together and said, I can't wait to dig into this. He prodded through his lunch with a plastic spork. This, this is, what is this stuff? Chicken? I know I'm backtracking, but I couldn't remember where I was. I'm afraid to guess, Ella said. She peeled a banana and added, something's wrong with Noah today. Nothing's wrong, Noah said, but even he could hear how cold and flat his voice sounded. Doesn't sound like nothing's wrong, Richie replied. I didn't sleep well. Why not? Noah stared into the ugly mound of food on his tray and avoided the question. Richie continued to dig through his lunch, trying to determine what category of meat was on his tray. Looks like something's been rocking Noah's ark, Richie said. Maybe the animals have been keeping him awake. Noah coughed up a piece of food and it landed on the table with a splat. Whoa, Ella said. She reached across the table and touched his arm, looking concerned. Richie said, Sorry, Noah, I was only joking. It's okay. It's just that 
Just that what? Ella asked. Nothing. Come on, how long have we been friends? She said. Noah didn't know why, but he was finding it difficult to tell them about the zoo. He reminded himself that he trusted his friends more than anyone else in the world. He gathered his courage and blurted out, It's Megan. Ella and Richie turned serious. There was no joking between them when the subject was Megan. What is it? Ella asked. I, and he stopped and stared into space. Noah, Ella said, you can tell us anything. Knowing that this was true, that these two were the best friends anyone could ever hope for, Noah let his eyes meet Ella's and said, the animals at the zoo. I think, no, I know they have something to do with Megan's disappearance. Ella's jaw fell. Richie dropped a piece of the unidentified meat. For a moment, the three of them sat and stared at one another, not knowing what to say next. Then Noah glanced over both shoulders to make sure no one was watching them. Look at this, he said. I have to show you something. He thrust his hand into his pocket to find Megan's notes. And that's the end of chapter six.